I received a few questions about my surface noise video I posted yesterday, mainly what is surface noise and how do you use it. So the surface noise, um, at least as it's implemented in ZBrush, is essentially a bump map, which doesn't actually put detail into the mesh of the model. It is an illusion that just uses a 2D black and white map and just kind of fakes having depth on it. So for this model, if I turn it off, you can see there's a lot of uh, facets and kind of, you know, very rough details on here. And the surface noise just goes through and masks all that and makes it um, look a little bit smoother. So the benefit of surface noise is that you can use a fairly lightweight and low polygon model and still have kind of the illusion of this detail. So if we switch to a cube, this is a very low poly model cube, um, but if we want to add some surface noise, which is easy in ZBrush, you just go over to surface and click the noise button. And this little menu will pop up, they'll give you a preview, and it's a little bit hard to see here, so we will turn the noise scale up a fair amount, and maybe turn the strength on a bit. And now that'll be applied to the model. You can see it's uh, still very low polygon model. Uh, if we pull it out, stretch it, try and add detail, there's still the facets on there. But, if you want, you can turn on, you know, Sculptress Pro and go to town on this thing. You can start carving in some little eye socket things. Uh, let's build up a little nose. Maybe uh, an area for the mouth to sit in. Some cheekbones. Let's stretch that full forehead out so we get a little bit of... Detail. So you can see this looks um, fairly okay here, but really there's almost no detail in this model. Um, we'll turn off the surface noise in a second. You'll see what I mean. Well, let's, let's make him sleeping. So by having the surface noise, it kind of obliterates a lot of the small messy details and lets you focus in on your forms. So this looks pretty terrible, but if we turn off surface noise, um, you can really see a lot of the uh, roughness of the model, but with it on, um, it kind of obscures all that. And you can go in with this, and if it's a little bit too much for you, you can turn it down, get a little bit better read of the shapes. But, uh, yeah, that's surface noise, at least in ZBrush. Um, I haven't found a way of implementing it in Blender. If you're a Blender artist, there is a way of turning it on for rendering mode under the displacement menu. Displacement menu. But I haven't figured out how to do it while actually sculpting on something. If you know how to do that, please let me know in the comments, because that would help everyone. Boy, that looks bad.